inside this box is a five thousand dollar gaming pc from starforge systems now you might have heard of starforge systems already they build powerful gaming pcs and i'm pretty sure they're owned by otk that's the content creator group one true king it includes asmongold soda pop and mizkiff emaru tectone kidding we love tectone or maybe you just know them as the pc company whose logo is literally a fuck. But either way, I needed to upgrade my PC and inside this box is the Voyager 2 Elite. At the time of recording this, that is their highest end model. And the total price after tax and shipping was $4,915.70. So the title is clickbait by $84, shoot me. But that also means that I paid for this with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. So if the computer sucks and it's a huge scam, I'll let you guys know in this video. But if I like the computer, there's gonna be an affiliate link in the description below. So if you end up buying something from Starforge Systems as as a result of this video consider using the link down below it won't cost you anything extra but it will support the channel for free all right let's just jump right inside here i had to cut the plastic before because i had to make sure everything inside wasn't damaged there's actually a sticker on the box that says to inspect it before you accept delivery if you guys were wondering they did require a signature from ups when it was delivered and i don't know if you can tell but there actually was a pretty big dent in the box here and also i don't know if you could see this but there were literally pebbles stuck in the side of the cardboard box and that's because my local ups is literal trash this is the the third package in a row that I've gotten from them that has some sort of obvious damage on the outside one of the packages that I ordered recently didn't even come I don't know if it's because I'm in New York City but UPS here is literally trash so I blame them for all of that obviously however there's a ton of bubble wrap here we've got more we've got more here we've got more here we've got more here we've got more here and I checked the bubbles where the actual dent was in the box and even the bubbles weren't popped so I don't think that this actually was as bad as it looks on the outside but when your package is five grand you know it is concerning especially because I ordered this on December 30th and I got it today which is February 7th a really long turnaround time and I understand I ordered it during holiday season so I know that they were kind of backed up and they were very transparent that the delivery date would be in February so I knew when I placed order that I I wouldn't get it until today so I'm not complaining about that they were very transparent but at the end of the day that was a really long time to wait and I would hate for it to be damaged because UPS is trash okay let's see what this top box is here when I first open it up I haven't opened this yet and something in here has no English on it so that's gonna be a struggle it looks like a box full of screws and velcro it is literally all in Chinese so cool next we have some metal brackets I suspect this is all stuff from the actual case spare parts and things like that that maybe weren't used for this build but if I decide to change it later then maybe I can and I have custom built PCs before in fact I also used to work for Apple for six years actually like completely gutting and repairing MacBooks which is way harder than building a PC so I am familiar with the inside of computers and if I ever need those pieces it's good to have you guys can't see it here but it says packed by TR so these are all like hand packed and signed by the people over at Starforge that's a really good sign for quality control if people are complaining about about damage to their products then Starforge can go and say okay well who packed it that's some accountability right there and I like that now this is just the case box here there's nothing with Starforge's logo on this at all so let me go ahead and take this out oh my god this is so heavy oh, Jesus Christ bro oh I gotta go to the gym oh, oh my toe Ow, what the my fucking Apple Watch just asked if I'm working out I just lifted one box there's also more bubble wrap in here as well by the way so good sign I'm sweating this is embarrassing oh there's handles let's go ahead and pop this open guys remember always cut towards you especially when you have seasonal depression all right we got the box open I think this is where I'm supposed to do like the YouTube thumbnail face like I gotta do like a schlatt thumbnail you know anyway inside the box we finally see the uh the penis logo or sorry the Star Forge logo Definitely not a cock and balls. Speaking of the Starforge logo, Drake was trending yesterday. <laughs> anyway, inside this box, it says accessories. And we have what I assume is the power cable poggers. And here we have some antennas. This is so that way your FBI agent can connect to your computer via 5G and they can keep track of all the hentai you're looking at. And then we have step-by-step -step instructions. It says step one, carefully remove internal packaging from your system. Store all of your system's packaging for return slash RMA purposes. Check for any damage that's been done to your computer. Okay so yeah we don't need that and then inside here 
It's a purse. They give you a little purse and it's filled with Twizzlers. These are just more cables for the motherboard and components that they didn't use. I'm glad that they gave me these, even though I'm going to be honest with you, I've had these from my past two computers, probably won't use them. All right, let's throw them over here. And then we've got another Starforge logo. This is smells like plastic it's just now occurring to me that I'm gonna have to lift this box again and my lower back can't handle it I'm 29 I guess I'm gonna tip it on its side and just slide it out okay you know what I have an idea okay this is a scale and I just weighed myself while holding this and also without holding this the computer weighs 53.4 pounds so you can decide if all the struggling I'm having in this video makes me a bitch or not based on that weight alone great news I opened it upside down so let me just Remember kids, always lift with your lower back. My heart rate is 108. I'm not even kidding. You probably can't see that. And it was 77 10 minutes ago. So a little bit of a workout here. All right, let's take the, uh, whatever that's called off. Let's take the condom off as well. Okay. Looking pretty clean already. <sighs> So this is the Voyager 2 Elite. This is what it looks like from the other side. And then we have the boring side, the front. So I just realized it has fans on the top and also on the bottom here. And also we have the USB ports, two USB, I don't know if it's 3.0 ports or what, and then one USB-C port on the front of the case, but it's on the bottom. That's like, that's kind of weird because every other computer case that I've had has the ports like on the top or on like the top of the side here. Ports are all the way down here. Interesting. Now there's foam inside and I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be there. So let's actually lay this on its side on its back. Please read the included instruction card. That's the one that I tossed to the side after only reading half of it. Remove Insta packing by gently wiggling them. You can lay the PC down on a soft service for better leverage. Please hey, save your Insta packs and your PC I'm case playing. box. PC past testing. Giga Chad. How do I take this panel off? I have to undo the screws. Yeah. The instructions don't tell me how to take the glass off and my IQ is really low. So I'm just going to start unscrewing stuff. Oh, we're making progress. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a screwdriver. I don't think that did anything. Oh, we got it. Actually, you do have to have a screwdriver. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're cooking with gas now. Or should I say we're cooking with glass? <laughs> All right. I'm going to lay this back down. Oh, why does this side feel loose? Surely it's fine. <laughs> Surely it's fine. This is the Insta pack that you're supposed to wiggle gently to remove. Kobe. Oh, I missed. Missed again. I didn't dare say his name that time. All right, I'm going to take my socks off because I do not want to generate any static electricity here. Also going to ground myself by putting this bad boy on my metal heater. I actually haven't tested that. I have no idea if I'm grounded or not, but you know, let's pretend all right we got ourselves a computer man there's totally uh there's totally computer parts in here this is dope computer confirmed inside i'm gonna make sure that the uh motherboard hasn't moved at all all the screws are screwed in gpu ain't moving or nothing sorry i don't have a top down camera over here i'm not lying as tech tips okay but let's be real at least we fact check on this channel ladies and gentlemen all right let's check to make sure the ram is clicked in it is there's no there's no sounds no clicks all of the cables are indeed properly seated. All right, let's lift this guy up here and you guys can see inside. Okay, so this is the part where I'm going to read off the specs for this bad boy. We have an Intel Core i9 4900K. We have a deep cool LS720 360 millimeter AIO liquid cooler. The RAM is T-Group Delta RGB 64 gigabytes DDR5 6000 232 gigabyte sticks. We have an MSI Z790 tomahawk y5 ddr5 motherboard we have a geforce rtx 4090 24 gigabytes we have the cable mod pro mod mesh sleeved cable extensions in black we have two terabytes of pcie 4.0 primary storage and two terabytes of pcie 4.0 secondary storage we have an msi mpg a1000g gold power supply six deep cool fc 120 millimeter rgb fans and the case is a Lian Lee PC Dynamic Evo Mid Tower in black. There's also a Star Forge plate light and Windows 11 Home for the operating system. Now here you can see the cock logo. If I just cover all the light, you can see it's very shiny, very reflective. There's a sticker on here. Let's peel it off together, shall we? 
Oh my. It was literally just an outer ring. What? Oh no, there's one more. Oh my god. Let's go. Yes, dude. That is actually quite shiny. Now, while we're here, let's peel off this front plastic. A little bit of ASMR for this section here. How many people you think are watching this who own a Star Forge and they didn't even know? This is your sign. Take the plastic out of the inside as well. Kobe! I made it that time. Rest in peace. Peel this off right here. Let's go. Oh my goodness. All right, let's close this bad boy up. Dang, that glass looks clean, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one last Peely boy. We're ripping the flesh off of this Starforge system. Okay, now we're going to install the FBI tracking antennas. Heard about these on Alex Jones, by the way. Here's a close up of the back of the computer. I tried to find this exact shot of this computer online, and I didn't see anybody in a video or a picture show off what the actual back looks like. So we have eight USB ports, two USB C ports, an Ethernet port, one Display port, one HDMI port, and we've got some other stuff down there on the bottom, like uh, audio ports and whatnot. So in total, 10 USB ports and three USB-C ports on this model because we've got some in the front as well. The real question though is will it turn on? We were about to find out. I've got the power switch in my fingers right now. I'm going to turn it on in three, two, one. Okay, there's a power button on the front of the case over here. Now this is the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Okay, now I'm not even kidding. It's actually not turning on. I was getting worried, boys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was getting a little worried. Damn, bro, that looks cool as hell. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? There she is in the dark, boys. It is absolutely silent. I can't hear it at all. I'm not kidding. The microphone is right up next to it. My computer on the floor is louder. I can hear it from here. And the fans are buttery smooth bro okay now obviously my two computer monitors are still set up to my current computer because i'm recording this video but you can see on the television over here okay i guess you can't really see but we have it connected via hdmi to my tv and it says is this the right country or region united states or afghanistan which means the windows operating system is actually loaded and the computer is on and outputting video and that means that for the most part things are working now in this video i'm not going to be doing a performance test or anything like that in fact what i'm considering doing is a follow-up after maybe a month or two as to what my experience is with this computer so first of all if that's a video you would be interested in comment down below that way i know people actually want to see that and also subscribe while you're down there and click the bell so you're notified when that video does go live and while you're down there drop a thumbs up i mean it's free and it helps out the channel a ton it'll get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other people might see it okay just to wrap this video up I want to go over why I chose Starforge systems and not some other company that can send me a pre-built PC because truthfully I did shop around I looked at I buy power I think I looked at cyber power PC and I even had other computers in my shopping cart before I decided to ultimately go with Starforge systems even though the price here was slightly higher than other companies and look as a content creator was this PC the perfect fit actually no it was very close I actually wanted a maybe a lower quality or slower secondary storage with more capacity I like to take my raw video files that I might not ever use again and I like to store them somewhere on my computer so that way maybe I could come back to them and I really was looking for like probably a, a four or eight terabytes maybe even a hard drive right just to kind of throw that stuff over there so this PC wasn't perfect I could have custom built something that was maybe three or four hundred dollars cheaper that would have been more or less a perfect fit but this computer was really close okay it was really close and it did check the major boxes that I cared the most about so 
the latest generation Intel Core i9 processor, obviously the RTX 4090. I know the MSI Tomahawk is a high quality motherboard. So most of the important things are here and the cable management is incredible. That is one thing that I think everyone who's ordered a Starforge system can agree on. But ultimately my decision came down to two things. The first one, and this is huge. They have a two year warranty that covers parts and labor, which is actually kind of crazy for a company that's not that big. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I worked for Apple for like six years and Apple, when you buy a MacBook or an iPhone or anything like that, you get a one year warranty. And I will say that one year warranty from Apple is actually really good. As long as you don't get your products wet or smash them to pieces, they're either going to swap it out with a brand new one or for a computer, they'll rebuild it. I don't know what the exact process is for Starforge, but the fact that it's for two years, quite as long as a literal trillion dollar company two trillion how much is apple worth now you get the point point. and the second reason i went with starforge is because of the creators now you can call this marketing you can call this parasocial behavior i watch some of these creators and i do really enjoy their content and for one i do think it's cool that there are like gamers and streamers that are behind this thing and i know like there's actually a, there's people that run starforge these guys probably don't do very much but just the fact that they're involved in any capacity at least tells me one thing and that starforge knows what you actually need to be a streamer or a gamer not just from specs or what's good on paper or what has good profit margins but because they literally do that that's actually what they do and that's also what I do. I bought this computer because I make YouTube videos for a living. I need this computer to pay my bills. Okay. And so when I'm comparing this to other companies, it is reassuring to see that other people that do what I do are behind the product that I'm actually buying. For example, if the motherboard in this computer turns out to be a piece of shit and gives me a ton of problems, that means the motherboard in Asmongold's computer is a piece of shit and it's going to give him a ton of problems. And if there's one thing I've learned from watching him, it's that he hates dealing with shit. Okay. And I trust that he wouldn't tolerate that for his own computer which makes me feel good about buying one for myself now like i said earlier this video was not sponsored they didn't pay me money they didn't send me this computer for free i, I wish they sent it for free but there will be a link in the description below if you decide to make a purchase at starforge systems consider using that link it won't cost you anything more and it will help me out tremendously i'm actually a small content creator unlike these guys here so if you're going to use anyone's link you use mine okay i actually need the money these guys I, I feel like they're probably they're probably doing all right with that being said if you made it to the end of the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton comment subscribe all that stuff i mentioned earlier and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace